Let's come to the studio now. Shea Ogunlewe is still with us. Mikel B wants us to forget about the past. I'm sure Shea also wants to forget about the past, particularly the real 2016 Olympics. Shea, at the national final trials in Sapele, you ran 9.12. You went to the Olympics, you finished fourth in your heat race, and then you ran 9.26. 10. 10.26. 10.12 10. <laughs> in Sapele, 10.26 in Rio. How yeah. disappointed are you with that? Um, I'm extremely disappointed. You know, I, I had high hopes of what I could do uh, at the Olympics. But unfortunately, um, um, I didn't go out there and do as expected. Um, but um, like, I don't like giving excuses. But for my race, we had a minus 1.2 wind, which was very strange. And the other races had plus winds, yeah. which is track and field. You know, if I had a plus wind, my times would have been quicker. And hopefully I would have made the semi-final. But so unfortunately, I just have to look forward and keep working hard. Yeah, I mean, wow. it must have been really, really painful for you because uh, Nigerians actually expected to see in that semi-finals and all that. We know how difficult and how tall yeah. the 100 meters can really be, especially at that particular big stage. Now, tell us about why you were in Rio because some uh, athletes are actually talking about the fact that, you know, chasing someone to give them back money and all that. And also the fact that, you know, moving from, you know, where you are to the venue or the event and everything. And I also listened to the... Uh, triathlon uh, some of the athletes uh, the great britain athlete the triathlon the brothers won silver gold and silver in the event talked about how comfortable they were you know where they were staying was kind of very close to the venue of the event and these comfort actually helped you know them to actually excel beyond other countries who didn't have to you know do what they did right if we had done something right maybe a little bit better in terms of preparations could nigerians play uh, athletes generally perform better could um, they have performed better yeah definitely definitely like if we had like different plans in place like we could have said yes we could have done better but that is that is, that, that that doesn't have anything to do with travel or any 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 other thing like because like someone like me and my coach and my team we already prepared that okay get on the bus a week before, get on the train a week before and just see how it is so you can plan your time around all those kind of stuff. Because it's not only you that is doing it. Like everyone stays in the same place in the village, like apart from the triathlon people that you mentioned. Like you saying Bogo on the bus as well. Justin Gatlin was on the same bus. So all those guys did it. But if you're talking about preparation generally, yes, it could have been better, but I can't say anything about that. I'm the wrong person to ask that kind of question. You have to ask the people that are in charge. But I'm sure if we put uh, like a lot more in place, definitely we could have come out better. Like for instance, Essie Bume came fifth. She's close, you know, she's close. Like hopefully like someone has gone to talk to her and said, Essie, what can we do for you so you can get a medal next year at the World Champs in London? But we'll see anyway. Okay, uh, Shaya, let's just quickly go back to your, uh, to that race in Sapele. Yeah. Uh, 10.1 to seconds was uh, reported as your personal best. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, you actually ran 10.17 at the Lee Valley London Games as well. Yes, so, I mean, yes, a week what, after. Yeah, a week after. Yeah. So which one is uh, your personal best? My personal best is 10.12. 10.12, yeah. officially? Officially. Awesome. Awesome. So I mean, what are you doing uh, at the moment? Your season is over? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just um, back in Nigeria to see my family. Okay. You know, just chill for a bit before I go back and start training for the World Championship next year. Okay, I mean, so um, what are your targets? Have you started setting targets? Yes, yes, like one? after my race and I just saw that I did not go through to the semi-final, I started setting targets for next year. Mm. My target next year is to make the final of the World Championships. That's the whole goal of every athlete, like, because I've seen it, I've experienced the Olympic Games. It is not, they don't have two heads or three legs. Everyone trains as hard, but it's who comes out victorious on that day. But hopefully next year, my time will come. Shay, I, I, I was with you in Rio. I spoke to you. I spoke to Lumide Olami Goke. I yeah. spoke to Elsa uh, Brome Divine. Tosin, I remember. Tosin, okay. Yeah. Lumide Olami Goke. Are you guys running so happy? Did you operate on that faulty system? Um, we were not happy because, one, we were not achieving what we wanted to achieve in the first place. You know, most of us did not make it through the first round. You know, that, that, that is a bit painful if you've trained for, very, very, for a very, very long period of time. But also, like, we expected some things to be in place which were, were not in place. But, like, as I said before, this is, this are, these questions are not for me to answer. I can't answer any questions. Like, you have to ask the people who are in charge. And hopefully they put something in place for us in the long run because we're not, we're not, we're not bad. We're, we're, we're pretty decent, you know. We have, we have 
quality athletes in Nigeria, if you just just push them a little bit more, you know, we'll get we'll get to where everyone wants us to get to. Mm. It's a big push, and that push yeah. is actually really not coming in terms of what. Um, it could be different things. It could be different things. Like other countries, for instance, Great Britain, they have a system in place, a funding system in place, which they put in, I think it was six, seven years ago. Yeah. And before you know it, they start getting medals, like everywhere from different sports. Hmm. Like they're not, as I said before, they, these people don't have two heads or three legs. Like we're all talented. If you get to the Olympics, there's a standard. And if you make that standard, you're pretty good. So it's just, just a little bit more effort from the federations, from the government, you know, be a, let it be a funding system. If you don't make the criteria for that funding system, you're cut out. But now, like, there's no, I won't say, there's no accountability. Like, no one can come and meet me and say, Shay, why did you not make the semifinal? Mm. I'll be like, but you can't ask me that question if you've not supported me. But if you supported me, I'll even be running away from me when I see you because I'll be like, oh, I don't want to see that man, or, because that guy has given me everything. I didn't and, and, and I didn't deliver. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But, if you give me everything and I don't deliver, you cut me off the system. So I have to try again to get back on that system. But hopefully everything, you know, I'm sure they're doing their best. And hopefully something will come through in the long run. It's yeah. uh, Austin, I mean, I'll just quickly, I'll go back to Rio. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, Usain Bolt, uh, incredible. 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 I mean, uh, arguably the greatest and sprinter of all time. First of all, did you get a chance to win? Yes, I saw him a few times. I saw him a few times. I said hi a few times, but, you know, Every sport has a freak. I think he's just exceptional. <laughs> yeah, you know, every sport has this person yeah. that is just extremely better than every, everyone. Like yeah. now in basketball, you have Steph Curry, who is just making mm -hmm. all the shots. Um, long tennis probably has Tiger Woods was at yeah. one point in time. I feel in the long run, maybe next few years, you see some young kid coming as well who probably be the next Usain Bolt. Mm. But he's, he's a very, he's like a living legend. Absolutely. He's my, he's my, he's my hero. Like every track and field athlete wants to be, match. wants to yeah. be like you said, both break yeah. records, win medals, triple, triple as. <laughs> gold, gold, and triple, triple. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he so says he's gonna retire. Okay, this is the last Olympics. Yeah. Our boy's going to the world champs in, next year. Uh, yeah, next, next year as well. Yeah. So and he's gonna retire afterwards. I mean, you know, pundits, um, athletics pundits have started putting out names. Yeah. You know, mm. that they think believe can actually take over from. Uh, you saying Bolt? Yeah, you have the likes of um, Andre de Grasse and uh, Trevon Bromel from yes. the USA as well. So I'm sure you want to get in that conversation yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I know there's a bunch of people retiring next year. Maybe Asafa, maybe Gatlin. Gatlin yeah. You know, and there's a bunch of us young guys coming through. You know, hopefully I can start running kind of times to put me in that bracket. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I've raised these people a few times, and you know. Hopefully, in the long run, me, Divine, everyone, you know, we can just join these boys, you know, in the finals because we want to make the finals. You know, two Africans made the finals this year, which was painful for us Nigerians. You know, yeah. we're not there. But respect to those boys, you know, they've been doing their thing. Akani Sambina and um, ben, Mete. Ben, ben Mete, you know, I know those, I know those boys. So hopefully we can, we can start doing it in the long run, like next year, come all games, Tokyo, you know, hopefully... If we're supported to the to the to the maximum level, we, we can we can get there. Do you guys speak to the federation about this support support thing? Because I mean, if you say we can't, you, you can't answer some of the questions. What is affecting you? Yeah. What, what your part as athletes? What what are you saying to the federation? Um, I'm, like it's not. I don't have to say anything. Like I'm sure. Like you know what to do. You know that. I, like I don't have to tell you. I need to pay for my coach. I don't have to tell you. I need to have the, a very good physio to run well. I don't have to tell you. I need a good nutrition is the wrong way. You know these things affect performance. So, like, if I employ you to do something that concerns performance and sports, I'm sure you know what it takes for me to get to that level. Like, we need to have a very, very, we need to have that elite mindset. You know, it's not just, we can't just keep going. We, you don't stumble on medals. You will, nev you will never get any medal if you don't put all those things in place. But, as I said, I'm sure they're doing their best, you know, in order to make this happen. And hopefully they make it happen in... in as soon as possible. Yeah, from, I mean, from your uh, reaction or from your response, yeah. now, it, it sounds as if there's no relationship uh, between you guys and the Federation. Um, What's the relationship like? For me, the, the, the relationship is not as good as it could be, you know. Like, Professionally? Uh, yeah, no, I could like, I would like it if someone calls me every month to say, Shay, how are you doing? How's training going? You know, hope you're doing well. You know, like just to show like, like someone cares about me. But no one calls me. They call me maybe once in a year you know, send me an email just to say, like, okay, Nigerian trials are coming up. Like, are you coming? 
Like, I would like it if someone calls me next month and says, Share, like, what's going on with you? What can we do for you to make you better? What can we do for you to make, make that final of the World Championships? I would like someone if someone calls Essie Brumman and says, Essie, you, you came fifth. Fifth? What can we do? She came fifth at the Olympic Games. Like, that is major. What can we do for you to, to make, get medals? You know, hopefully they start doing it, you know, and hopefully the private individuals, that's, that's the key. Those, hopefully they come in as well, you know, the private sponsors. Special thanks to Union Bank who, you know, looked at us and said, guys, you know, we'll support you. Hopefully more private people come on board and support us. And before you know it, these medals will start coming in the long run. Oh, guys, <laughs> listening to him, I just want to run to the FS and start calling them. <laughs> what are you doing? No, give them, give them this support because that's all. I mean, it's as simple as what I mean, Shea is saying.